Hi everyone! So I am now on my first ever vlog. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to do this um, for the next 9-10 months that I'll be here in the US. Um, it's still kind of like a dream. I'm gonna make this in America. Because I'm in America! What? Um, but yes, it's happening and I'm here. So, there are a couple of things that I want to discuss in this video and I just want to share to you guys my experience so far being here in Redding, California. I arrived here on the 29th at 2 a.m. in the morning. My sponsor slash, I call him sometimes my dad, Randy, picked me up from the airport in San Francisco and drove me to Redding, California here in their lovely home. So I arrived at 2 a.m. and I only had like five hours of sleep and then I had to go straight to the registration day for school. Isn't that crazy? I am so jet lagged. When I got there, I don't know how I kept up with everybody else, but I did and it's a miracle. So when I got there, I had my picture taken, I met my RJP or my Revival Group pastor and she's really amazing. If you guys don't know her, her name is Lindsay Coyle and she's a Filipina and loves the Lord so much and I'm so happy that I'm in her Revival Group. She's just really prophetic and it's so cool to just be able to learn from her. Um, so I'm going to show you guys, this is, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is my um, ID and that's my jet lag face yeah i'm just like i if i knew that photos will be taken on that day i would have put on some makeup but i didn't and i look weird um and they gave us this this is our binder and most of the things that we need for the whole year or for the next nine months is in here so on registration day they gave us our binder and a book which is this one a kingdom culture book and lately they gave us this book 30 days to understanding the bible some students hate it some students like it i am not i'm not mad about it <laughs> it's it's interesting if you're going to bssm or if you already did bssm you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and then this is the latest one that they gave us, um, Experiencing the Father's Embrace. I cannot wait to read this. Um, I read the first few pages and it's, it's pretty cool so far. So what we do with these books, we have to make book reports. So that's kind of like how the school works. And they also gave us this basic training for prophetic ministry so there will be books that we would have to discuss in a corporate setting so like imagine like you're in a conference you know like a hillson Con conference or you know like um kingdom invasion something like that where it's like a lot of people are in the auditorium and there's one speaker so that's kind of like us like we have a thousand more than a thousand students registered and there will be one speaker so it's not always some of you guys are thinking like what are you doing there are you, are you just worshiping the whole time but yeah we worship but you know we also do some studying the food here is not bad like i mean philippines is a westernized kind of like a westernized country so most of the things that are available in the philippines are available here so I didn't really had a hard time adjusting with food, but I'd say that food here is a relatively much more healthy than in the Philippines. I mean, obviously, United States. I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram stories. If you haven't, follow me because <laughs> I post uh, most of my updates there. Um, so Randy cooks really great meat and... I've never had a steak that good in my life and I'm really 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 grateful for that. <laughs> I went to In-N-Out and Five Guys and I went to Taco Bell. <laughs> I just had to try Taco Bell. It's not that bad. I mean I've heard I know some of my friends will be rolling their eyes and be like Hazel Taco Bell is not good for you. 
I like it, okay? And it's it reminds me of home because <laughs> we always eat Taco Bell back in the Philippines and it's great. It's just a little bit spicy. I tried the quesadilla and it's bomb eggs. I like it. And um, my friends and I went to Bernie Falls and I don't know if I said it right, but it's really beautiful. I'm gonna try to put some videos over here for you guys to see if you haven't followed my Instagram stories. It's really beautiful. And I also painted on stage in one of our sessions at school. So this is the painting that I made um, on stage. And um, this is very personal to me because as I was getting prayed over by one of my mentors um, in our revival group, he told me that he saw honey. The Lord is pouring honey all over me. And um, I actually have a sketch of this. I'm going to take a photo and put it here. That's like the original sketch that I did. I am more of a watercolor kind of person. And I don't really do acrylic painting. So this is kind of like a first in a really long time. Like I did acrylic painting back in college, but I haven't done that in a while. And I really think it's a cool experience because I did this while worshipping. So um, yeah, it's just, I've never, I never really felt so alive. Um, so this is a work in progress and I'll update you guys if I ever finish this, um, which I know I will. Just give me time. <laughs> and I also got baptized. And that's really, really cool. I have been baptized when I was a kid, but I was, you know, like my heart wasn't fully into it. I just did it because I know that everybody else is doing it. So when I decided to get baptized again for the second time, I just felt so much weight just lifted in me. The Lord is like teaching me a lot of things while I'm here and like the first month in, there's just a lot of pruning that's been happening and a lot of just things to process. And I'm really happy that I know I'm in a safe place. You know, there are people who likes to process things by themselves and sometimes I do that, but it's pretty cool to be covered by my Revel Group pastor and by my mentors who are like really great people. There's actually this one story that I want to share to you guys. So I met this girl um, when she was in the Philippines. She was doing a BSSM mission trip, which I will also do. And I will talk to you guys about that soon. But um, I met her and she said that she saw a vision of me and the Lord and the Lord asked me on a date and asked me to go to this pizza place so I said yes because I like pizza <laughs> and she didn't know that that I like pizza and if you know me you know that I like pizza he opened the door for me I went inside the car he drove me to the pizza place and um, he knows exactly the kind of pizza that I want and he paid for it and she was just encouraging me that the Lord knows exactly what I want and what I need and that the Lord is going to provide for it. So I'm like, yeah, that's like a really good word. Like I receive it. I like pizza. Yes. So fast forward, I came here three weeks later. Randy and Melissa um, drove me to a pizza place where we had our dinner. And this pizza place is called um, MOD or Mod Pizza. And this pizza place actually um, does like custom made pizza. So like tell the person whatever you want and they're gonna put it in your pizza. Randy and Melissa paid for it, that meal and it's really, really great. And I sat there looking at my pizza and as I was eating it, I started to cry. <laughs> Because I really felt like the Holy Spirit was telling me this is exactly what the girl saw. And I was just there crying and I'm like, what the heck? Like this is exactly the pizza that I want and Randy and Melissa paid for it and we drove to get here. Like, you know, like exactly what the vision was, it really came to life. And I'm just like, wow, God, like you are a very personal God. I thought like a pizza represents something else, but I am literally eating the best pizza, the exact pizza that I want. And 
you know, like, I I'm still kind of emotional while telling you this. Every time I would think of that moment, I am reminded that the Lord honors our yes. I came here with a trembling yes. I had stuff that I would have to sacrifice. I quit my job. I um, had a few sacrifices to get here. And the Lord honors that. The Lord honors our yes. And He will never let you get out of your comfort zone stranded. No, He's not like that. He will take care of you. And up until now, like actually this morning, I am asking God, like, Lord, I still have some stuff that I need to do. Like, I have to raise funds for specific things that I need this week. And I just can't see that coming through. And I realized my tuition fee was paid on the exact date that I needed it to be paid. And I got here and, you know, like everything else, like everything is way different than I would have wanted it to be, but it happened in a supernatural. There will be things that you would want to happen and it just won't happen that way. You know, like if you say yes to God, there are no buts or ifs. If you say yes, you have to also say yes to the process. You also have to say yes to how that would look like. So one thing that I really learned coming here in the past month that passed by that God is faithful and he is good and he is better than good he will never leave you nor forsake you and he will take care of you being an international student I can't work here and sometimes I would worry like the first few weeks that I was here I am worrying about the food I am worrying about back then I didn't have a cabinet and you know like the Lord just kept on providing that and I'm really happy that I'm with people um, that are like I just don't know like Randy and Melissa man they are amazing um, and they gave me great room they gave me cabinets they feed me and they you know like the little things that I would worry about, the Lord just kept on providing that. And I don't know how I'm surviving, to be honest. I don't know how I survived a month with only around $200 in my account. God is just so faithful. Like, I really don't know how, how the, uh, how I've, He's just so faithful and He is so good. And if you are also in that process where you're out of your comfort zone and I know this is just an update video of what's happening but I feel like there will be people who will be watching this video and I just want to encourage you if you are also going through that process of just getting out of your comfort zone and trusting the Lord it's worth it I love how this morning I was worshiping God because I am stressing out with my finances and I'm stressing out with the things that I would need to pay for this week and he's like Hazel would you be willing to give that to me would you be willing to give a hundred percent of your trust would you be willing to give out that burden that has been holding you for a really long time if you are that person, I really want to encourage you that, you know, like I am still in the process, even up until now, I'm still in the process. I don't know what will happen for the next few days, but I trust that he is good and that he is more than good. He is better than good and that he will be able to provide for everything that I need. And, um, and I trust that I'm in the right place. It is uncomfortable. I miss my family, but I'm in the right place. And this is exactly where I need to be right now. And I'm trusting the process. I don't know how to end this video, but if you guys would want to be part of this group page that I made for my supporters, please let me know. I would love to add you guys. If you guys want to give or to sow into what the Lord is doing in my life, I would have some description somewhere here. 
in the screen or in the description below or somewhere. Um, thank you guys so much for being in this journey with me and for, for believing in what the Lord is doing. I hope to see you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to vlog as much as I can. And um, I'll see you guys next time.